previously on Adventures of the Star Keepers. Dex, look! The ice cream truck! It's changing into some kind of giant operation space. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Like I said, fools, the shield is mine. We've stopped you before, Radiform. We'll stop you again. Hmm, maybe. But it will be much harder when you have to save Pearl Island from a giant tidal wave at the same time. <laughs> oh no! That wave is huge! It's coming right for us! Have fun! A giant tidal wave is forming where Radiform shot the laser. Oh, and one more thing. Don't bother trying to break into my operations base to save the day. Me and my inventions will be quite safe and dry thanks to your precious shield powering my new energy bubble. Activate the bubble, Benson. Of course, ma'am. You have about 10 minutes until the giant wave reaches Curl Island. I would start running if I were you. Ta-ta! Man, this is so not cool! Where are we supposed to get ice cream now? Uh, Mayor Brody, shouldn't you be more worried about the giant tidal wave heading for the island? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, that's pretty bad too, dude. Oof. <laughs> Dex, Nova, are you both okay? We saw a laser beam hit the ocean, and now there's this huge tidal wave, and... Dex, where did that giant base come from? And what's with a weird shimmery bubble around it? <laughs> oh, that. Right. So, um... The good news is you were right about Radiform wanting to steal the shield river. And the bad news? Radiform has the shield, and she's using it to create an energy bubble around her base. What? Dex, you said you would keep an eye on her. I know, I'm really sorry, River. I thought I could watch Radiform and Grand Grand Dumplies at the same time, but I couldn't, and Radiform got the shield, and now we can't get inside her base, and Coral Island's gonna get hit by a giant tidal wave, and there's nothing we can do, and it's all my fault! <sighs> I know you didn't mean to, Dex. Look on the bright side. At least you were able to keep an eye on Gram Gram. Well... You lost Gram Gram? In my defense, she's really hard to keep an eye on. We almost got into so much trouble because she kept on disappearing. I mean, what is she, like some kind of ninja? Your Gram Gram is a bit of a troublemaker, Sandy. Well, yeah, but she's still my Gram Gram. I know she's not the easiest person to take care of, and she does cause a ton of trouble, but that doesn't make me love her any less. I love her no matter what she does. You're right, Sandy. And I really am sorry for not keeping a closer eye on her. I know I messed up big time. Uh, I'll say. Like, how am I supposed to find my Gram Gram? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so not to ruin this really emotionally tense mo or anything, but there's a slight tidal wave issue you still need to address. That we need to address? Aren't you and the other islanders going to help us? <laughs> oh, you're serious. Uh, honestly, le no, but I definitely support you guys. I got it. Radiform said we can't sneak into her base, but she never said we couldn't portal inside. Dex, I don't think you can... Portalcaster, don't fail me now. <laughs> huh, must be a glitch. Let me try again. <laughs> I guess... I guess that energy bubble does stop you from portaling inside. It was worth a try, Dex. We are just going to have to find another way to stop that tidal wave. You know, we did construct that safety wall last month. Uh, I figured 
If another storm came through, the wall could protect Curl Island or something like that, you know? And the tidal wave is far enough away so it's totes doable to raise the wall up before the island gets hit. Uh... What? Why does everyone look surprised? I have good ideas sometimes. Like you should have been here for the chocolate chowder cook-up. Only six people puked. <laughs> it was pretty rad. Until the puke. Ew. ew. Gross. Oh, man, I can't believe we missed that. I mean, ew. River, you and your new friends go get the safety wall raised up. Dex and I will try to get inside the operations base and stop Radiform. Right. Be careful, you two. Okay, Mayor Brody, how do we activate this safety wall of yours? Also, where exactly is the wall? Huh, currently underwater. But no worries, all you gotta do is press the button for the wall to rise up. Uh-huh, and where's the button? NGL, this is where it gets a little, like, mm, dicey, you know? Because the button is kind of out there, where the rock formations are. The rocks where Gil broke his surfboard? Why would you put it out there instead of making the button easy to get to? That's a really great question, and I will a thousand percent bring that up at our next council meeting. River, there's no way we're going to get out to those rocks in time. No one can swim that fast, and even with our surfboards, we'd be fighting against the tide. You're right. There's got to be another way to get to the rocks. Check it out. I found something that might help us get to the wall faster. Mayor Brody's jet ski. Whoa, no way. That is for official top tier Mayor Biz only. Uh, wouldn't saving Curl Island fall under official top tier Mayor Biz? Ah, rumble, grumble. Well, when you put it that way, uh... There are only two seats on the jet ski, Gil. How exactly are all three of us supposed to fit? That's what the skis are for, River. Quick, put them on! Me? You do have the best balance between us, River. This way, all three of us can get to the button as soon as possible. Well, okay. Hold on! If we can just dig a tunnel under the bases, energy bubble, we can, oh my gosh, sneak inside and uh, stop right for me. Oh, this is taking longer than I thought. How you doing over there, Nova? I'm sorry, Dex, but I don't think the tunnel idea will work. Uh, it could if we could get some help from the islanders. You think they would be a bit nicer to us since we're trying to save their homes? You're right, it would be nice. But even if they choose not to help, we said we were going to protect Coral Island, and we're going to stick to that. <sighs> There's gotta be an easier way to get past this energy bubble. Um, Dex? We might not have to. What do you mean? Of course we have to. Even if River is able to get to the wall to stop the tidal wave, we still have to complete the mission. No, Dex, look up! Right there in the window of the operations base. Is that... Cram Cram Dumplings? There are the rocks! Right up ahead! Mayor Brody said it would be by the rock that looks like a curloptopus. What is that? Oh, I see it! It's right there to the left. You're going to have to hop across some of the rocks to get to it, though. Better hurry! The tidal wave is getting closer! On it! <sighs> uh. 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 
Almost there. Hey, I found the button. Safety wall is activated and stuff. No waves getting past here, fam. <laughs> this is a recording. Well, that was easier than we thought. Looks like Curl Island is saved after all. Great. We should get back to help Dex and Nova, though. Uh, you really want to go back and help Dex? Ugh, I don't get it. Aren't you mad that Dex let Radiform get the shield? If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, I'm not exactly happy with Dex right now, but he's still my friend, even though he made a mistake. A really big mistake. Ugh. Well, I guess, but I'm still mad at him. Ready when you are, Gil. Back to the beach we go! Uh-oh! Water pressure on the wall is too high! Get help, like, for realsies, dude! This is also a recording. <laughs> How did Graham Graham Dumplings even get inside Radiform's base? I don't know, but she seems to be safe. I don't think Radiform knows she's inside. <gasps> Nova, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I doubt it. You seem to usually be thinking about food. Nuh-uh. Well, at least not this time. No, Graham Graham Dumplings can help us because she's already inside Radiform's base. She can get the shield from Radiform. That's a wonderful idea, Dex. But how are we going to ask her to do that when we're out here and she's in there? Hmm. We can ride in the sand. Here, I'll use this stick and get a shield. There, that should do it. Um, Dex, that says get the shrimp. Oh, oops, sorry. Guess I was thinking about food. <clears throat> Yield. S H I E L. Okay, there, now it's right. Hey, Graham, Graham, look down here! <laughs> Only a few more minutes before my tidal wave hits Benson, then Curl Island will be free for me to use as my new evil base. Yippee for you. Benson, what are those star fools doing down there? It appears to be a message in the sand, ma'am. Get the shield. Well, that's silly. I've already got the shield. Why would I need to get it again? I do not think the message is for you. What's happening? Where did my energy bubble go? Ma'am, according to our security cameras, it appears an elderly person has snuck into our base and taken the shield. What? How? Move over! Let me see the security cameras! Ooh, it's Granny again! How did she get inside my base? It seems your little energy bubble is not as great as you thought. Ooh, that's it, Benson. Start up my robo-laser. It's time to test my latest creation. <laughs> Nova, the energy bubble, it's gone. Graham Graham Dumplings must have gotten the shield. Uh-oh. I think Radiform knows, too. Nice try, Star Keepers. But if I can't have the shield, no one can! Behold, my robo-laser! Another robo-laser. How original. No one asked you, you bucket of bolts! 
Like I said, behold my robo laser. With one blast, it will turn stuff into robots. We get it. Well, it's no fun when you say it like that. You do turn things into robots a lot, Professor Radiform. It gets kind of old after a while. I will have you know that this robo laser doesn't just turn anything into a robot. It, um. Okay, well. Well, it does. But those robots are much cooler than the old ones. Why am I even explaining this? Benson! One robo laser coming up. Ha! Your robo laser didn't hit anything. Just sand. That's what you think. There are no such things as sand robots, are there, Nova? I don't think she was aiming for the sand ducks. I think she was aiming for what was under it. Your little granny might have the shield, but she will never escape with my robo crab surrounding my base. Nova, look out! There's too many of them! Out of the way! Whoa! I was thinking driving the jet ski on land through a pile of robots, Gil! River, Sandy, I thought you were working on the safety wall. It's all set up, so we thought we would come back to see if you needed any help. Looks like we were right. <sighs> Did I get all the robots? No. Guess not. We got the energy bubble down, but now Graham Graham Dumplings is stuck inside the base. We have to go in and save her. Dex, now that the energy bubble is down, you can portal inside. Go save Graham Graham Dumplings while we take care of Radiform's newest robots. Thanks, River. Don't worry. Sandy, I'll get Graham Graham Dumplings back safe and sound. Hello? Graham Graham Dumpling? Are you here? Hello? Ah! Graham Graham Dumplings, you really gotta stop sneaking up on people. Are you okay? Oh, yes. And look at what I found. The shield. Great job, Graham Graham Dumplings. Now, let's portal out of here so we can help the others. Oh, just one more thing, dear. I'll be right back. Um, okay. But where exactly are you going? Hey, where'd you go? Oh, not again. Look, Benson, my wonderful little robots are keeping those pesky heroes busy. And when that tidal wave hits, Actually, where is it? It should have reached the island by now. Ahem. You have a visitor, ma'am. Oh, what a lovely little evil base this is! Ah! You! How do you keep sneaking past me? Oh, my, my, my. This place could use a good cleaning, though. I beg your pardon. I am an excellent butler, and my dusting skills are superb. A good cleaning, indeed. Oh, what do we have here? Don't press that button! Ma'am, the self-destruct button appears to have been pressed. I can see that, Benson! Oh, I'll get you for this, Granny! Wait, where did she go now? It doesn't seem to turn off, ma'am. Perhaps you should have also given the button an off switch. Well, do something! Why do we even have that button? Whose idea was that? Yours, ma'am. There's so many of them! The Robo Crab stopped moving. Graham, Graham, it's you! Oh, whoa! 
<laughs> There's time to talk, Jerry! We need to get out of here! <laughs> Dex, wait, why are you two running? It's gonna blow! The base is gonna blow! Everyone, run! <laughs> Is everyone okay? Graham Graham, I'm so happy you're okay! Oh, the nice young man found me. Thank you, Dex. You're welcome. Honestly, I should really be thanking Graham Graham Dumplings. She got the shield from Matiform. Whew, what a day. A surfing competition, the ice cream truck lady ends up being an evil scientist, a giant tidal wave, and robot crabs. Is it always like this for you and your friends, River? You have no idea. Nova, is everything okay? I thought I heard something, but maybe it was just my imagination. That doesn't sound too good. Oh no! The tidal wave is breaking through the wall! It's going to hit the island! Nova, Dex, what do we do? Um, think, think. That's it! Bradiform used the shield to create an energy bubble around her base. We could use it to protect all the islanders. Mayor Brody, tell everyone to gather around me. Uh, what? Why? Just do it. Trust us. Jeez, all right already. You all heard them! Pack it in, you guys! Dex, hurry up. Use the shield. Right. Please work. kidding when he said that shield was powerful. And the energy sphere it created was just big enough to protect all the islanders. Looks like you crazy kids saved Curl Island after all! Happy to help. Um, sorry about the rest of Curl Island, though. That giant tidal wave really made a bigger mess of things. Yeah, with the explosion and now that massive wave, our island is definitely in less than stellar shape, you know? It's gonna take, like, I don't know, a really long time to even get some of the smaller buildings back up. <sighs> it's totally bringing down the vibes. <gasps> oh, the solar tools. I still have them in my bag. We can help you rebuild. Solar tools? You really still plan on helping us out after we were so mean to you and your friends earlier? Yup. Wow. And we left you to fight Radiform and save ourselves? Of course. I mean, he does have a point. Dex? Kidding. <laughs> we would be happy to help Mayor Brody. Exactly. We were going to help rebuild Curl Island regardless of how you treated us. That is why we brought the solar tools in the first place. Aw, oh, bet, bet. All right, listen up, everybody! These cool people are going to help rebuild stuff around the island! So if you could all line up, that'd be pretty sick! Now, who's first? Well, that's one more building fixed. Only 27 more to go. Wow. I'm shocked you guys stayed around for a whole week to help us rebuild. Just because the damage was worse than before doesn't mean we weren't still going to do what we said we'd do. Plus, with some of the islanders offering to pitch in and help, we were able to get a lot done. And with all the dumplings Graham Graham gave out, no one ran out of energy. Oh, speaking of Graham Graham, I never got a chance to say thanks for rescuing her ducks. You're welcome. I'm sorry again for not keeping a better eye on her. Uh, I forgive you. 
I know Gram Gram can be a handful, so the fact that you still chose to look for her, like, really means a lot to me. Oh, looks like it's almost time for the final round of the competition. Come on, River, we still have a chance to win that shield so we can keep it for good. Coming. Testing, testing, ah, that, that, we good? Okay, awesome. All right, surfers, so I know our competition got sidelined there for a bit, but thanks to our new friends, the Star Keepers, hey! We're all good to go for the third trace and final round in Spaniel. Surfers, get ready! Go, River, you got this. Do your best, Jerry. Well, here we go, River. Thanks for being such a good teammate. You taught me a lot. Thanks for trusting me as a teammate, Sandy. Now, let's do this. Hey, here comes the last wave of the competition. Whoa! It, oh, you guys! It's a pretty gnarly one! <sighs> Woo! Come on, River and Sandy. You can win this. Looks like the boss level wave just took out Team 8. I don't count up that high. Which means Team 5 is the winner! <laughs> River and Sandy won. They won the shield. As is tradition, I, the mayor, will now present the prizes. Third place goes to Team One. You are now the proud owners of this piece of driftwood. Congrats. Well, I, I guess driftwood isn't terrible. Teammate, you got second place. Rusty fishing hooks, congrats. Can't wait to see what you guys do with them. And finally, first place goes to Tim Fleeve! Yeah. River, that's us! <laughs> I told you my darling Sandy could do it! It is my honor as mayor and leader of Curl Island to present you with this shield! I would also like to say on behalf of the island, thank you to the Star Keepers. You didn't get the greatest of welcomes from us, I admit, but you still helped us out and saved us from a giant tidal wave. Hey, thanks dudes. Well, you got the shield. Guess you three will be heading back home then, huh? Actually, we were thinking we could stick around for a bit longer. Yeah, there's still so much that needs to be fixed on Curl Island. Great! Besides, Gram Gram has a surprise for Dex to thank him for taking care of her. A surprise? For me? Is it covered in chocolate? Go ahead, Gram Gram. <laughs> for all you and your friends' hard work. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's so beautiful. Is that... All the ice cream from Radiform's fake ice cream truck? Yup, sure is. The truck might have been fake, but the ice cream wasn't. Gram Gram was able to grab it all before the base self-destructed. Wow, we got the shield, so we're one step closer to stopping Nebulos. And we got a lifetime supply of ice cream? What do you think about that, Dex? Gram Gram Dumplings, you are my hero. <laughs> This is officially my favorite mission ever. <laughs> <laughs>